welcome. Thanks for tapping in. Okay, well, in the last video, we tuned the Ascari KZ1R. And I think it did a three minutes and 10 seconds in my test. Oh yeah, I tuned it more. Cause I, I, I wasn't happy with it. I didn't think I'd give the car a fair shot because the other cars were tuned to the gills given the highest possible performance in every way possible. Why didn't I do that for the Ascari? So in asking myself this question, I went in and I decided to tune this car and make it better. Turns out, this might be one of the best cars in the game. Who knew? See what, what sticking to purists are gonna get you? Somebody thinks that certain cars shouldn't have all wheel drive, but I promise you, in real life, if you can change a rear wheel drive car to four wheel drive car, wouldn't you? Ah, caught, clip that. I didn't want to clip that, but let's see how this does. Full disclosure, I tested it already and I did come under three minutes. I won't tell you how much under three minutes I came, but right now we're gonna try to beat that. I'll tell you what the time was after this race. Seven speed, it still does about the same top speed. Like almost identical same top speed. I think it's 170.8, something like that. In fact, before with the rear wheel drive configuration, I think it was a few tenths of a second slower. But yeah, here we go. So far, so good. We've got a good top speed. Look at this, we're doing we're doing pretty good. I say by this gate, you should be doing maybe around 50 miles an hour. On this turn, if your car isn't doing over 200, you're probably not gonna be three minutes. Okay, yeah, concentration just activated for a second there. This turn right there, you should be doing about 160, 170 if you want to come in under three. And this turn right here, I'm going way too slow. That turn you should be doing about 160, 170 also if you want to come in. Matter of fact, oh, did I turn the rewind off? Yeah, I did turn the rewind off. No rewind. to my original gameplay. You should be over 230 for this entire section. And if your car can't do this turn right here flat out, you're not gonna beat this. But I I think I got three minutes beat because of the top speed on the highway. If I don't muck up this turn here, and I'm up there. Oh no we didn't. Okay, same exact time I got before. I don't know what the what the milliseconds were at the time, but yeah, it was 2.56 before when I did it. And uh, that could definitely be improved upon, but as it says, best lap up there is 2.54. I don't think I'll do better than that. So this car, I've upgraded the rating. I've upgraded the rating of the entire car to a B minus. Yeah. No, matter of fact, great B for this car. This car gets a B. It gets scarred. It gets a B. And get 175K for that wheel spin. That's always a good. It's always a good wheel spin. So um, this is gonna be a two-in-one video. I'm gonna start doing the tuning classes right here with this car. Right. So what we're gonna do? I know you guys can't feel how the car feels. 
right? So the first class, the tuning is the first thing we can tune, which is the tires. So right now, our tire pressure is 33.2 pounds per square inch in the front and 33 pounds, 32 in the front, 33 in the back. So what we're gonna do is gonna slam it all the way to the bottom and see what changes in our performance. And I think the lateral G's, no. Nope. I mean, it's about the same, but let's see, let's see how it affects the, the drivability of the car. Oh, whoa, 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 start off in first. It's a little less grip. It's less grip. I can tell you that unequivocally, it's a little less grip on the edges, actually. On the straights, there's grip. But on the edges, like as you can see, it's a little less grip. Okay. Now we'll slam it in, all, in the opposite direction. So let's give it as many pounds per square inch as it can get, which in this case is 55 in the front and 55 in the rear. So let's see how it feels now. Let's see how it is on this turn right here. Also less grip. But I find control the drift a little bit more. That's interesting. With, with it slammed to as inflated as the tires could be. Yeah, I got way more control of the, of the drift. I don't know if that if it makes sense, but less grip, but more control. That makes sense. That's very interesting. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, let's do a highway run, full highway run. It's one of my races, one of my tests that I like to put these cars through. So uh, let's do a full highway run and see what time we get. Let's see if we can hit the same top speed also, because we were at 170. So let's see if we can hit the right top speed. I'm going to do two versions of this race also, because I have one version and it's you know, drive guitars. So in the beginning of the race, it's not easy to have the exact same start every single time because the drive guitar is very erratic in the way or whatever. So I'm gonna make another version of this race where there are no drive guitars. So you can definitely race against the clock. There'll be a pole position. Um, and you won't really have to worry about driving around these cars. See that little tap right there? That could have been a couple of tenths of a second off the final time, but let's see how this car feels at very, very high speeds. I'm not sure if that little bump there was because of the suspension or because the tires are super inflated, because I can imagine right now that these tires are as hard as they are. You know, and when they're soft, imagine putting your foot in a plastic bag and then moving the plastic bag around on the floor, you know, that's probably what the softer tires feel like to the wheels. So forward and momentum will kind of squeeze the bottom of the tire out the back, and backward momentum will squeeze the bottom out of the tire of the front. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. And with this, there isn't any of that movement with the tire. So, okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep all my tires fully inflated for a little while because I actually, I like the way it feels a lot. And after this race, I'm really gonna check to see if the settings changed 
I mean, I'm not exactly sure if I remember all the settings the way they were when it was 32 and 33 PSI, but okay, and, the, and the elite time for this race is one minute and 40 seconds. One minute under 150, so let's see what I do. 138, y'all. That is a super elite time. That might be one of my best times in this race. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, I really like this car, and I gave it a terrible chance before. Now what we'll do is, moving forward, we're gonna test some of these cars in their stock configuration. We'll tune the stock configuration without changing the drivetrain, and then we'll max it out and make it, give it all power and grip and everything we can and test it in those three ways and see which cars are best. So we'll have stock, we'll have stock tuned, and we'll have fully tuned. Three different categories for each car. So some cars might win in one category, some cars might win in another category, but I, I thought I should come back and let you guys know that this Ascari is really, really a good car. And the last video was not a very good representation of how Thanks for tapping in. Sure.